All right, time for some more character development. Uh, Felicia and Jacob, the third one. Here we go. Jacob, Jacob, what's all this? All the noise, Felicia. I um made you some treat tea to try. Here, is this your doing? Indeed, all by myself. Stop stalling and try a sip before it cools down, if you insist. Well, what do you think? It's surprisingly good. I knew it. I knew I could do it. And I don't know what to say. I did not think you even remotely capable of this. I'm just as surprised as you are. Seconds, please. What? I'm sorry, Jacob. I don't didn't think I quite urged you correctly there. I would like a second cup, please. Of course. Oh, but I only made that one cup. I'll have to make more. Please give me a little time. Almost done. You're taking so long. I could have done several things in this amount of time. <laughs> My apologies. Just wanted to make sure I got it right. It's all thanks to you that I can do this. You never gave up and kept guiding me in the right direction. I'm really grateful to you. Oh, you're welcome. Whatever. Pour the tea. Ah, of course. Here you go. Drink up. Oh, jeez, you. That's awful. What? How? Apparently the tea you created before was merely a fluke. Aww. You clearly need training. Clearly, I am going to have to be even stricter. I suppose so. Oh, poor Felicia. Dear fuck. Poor her. Uh. Oh, cool. Laszlo and Hannah, the sequel. Here we fucking go. Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hello, Laszlo. Remember the lipstick I offered you before? I brought it again today. Ouch! Consider yourself lucky that I've only gotten my so practice sword on me. I told you before, I have no need for the makeup you've got. Putting it on and maintaining it would only get in the way of my training. It's not like I'm suggesting a dramatic change in your, to your appearance. I don't even see how lipstick could affect your training. I'm certain I would feel differently about myself if I put that on. Oh, if that's the case, I think it's all the more reason to wear lipstick, at least. What are you talking about? You know all about war paint, of course. This lipstick is just like that. The shopkeeper who gave it to me told me that it would definitely help in battle. She said it would inspire confidence and add more strength to attacks. Which makes me think that you enjoy wearing it. How could you say no to something that will only make you a better fighter? Not a single word of that was true, was it? Well, the shopkeeper did say the shade of color was nice. I thought as much. It still wouldn't hurt to try it. If nothing else, the color has the same name as your master. It's called Sakura? Yup, exactly. I... Fine. I'll take the lipstick off your hands. What? Really? Are you sh I was sure you'd fuse again. It being the color changes everything. I admit I'm a little curious now. But I'd probably only wear it once, just so you know. That's fine. I'm looking forward to see how it looks on you. Ah, uh, the Playboy. Always wants that, you know what, but I don't know, man. I don't know if he's going to be successful. Oh, look. Mozu and Slyus, rank A. Let's do this. Slyus, did, I did real good in the last fight, huh? You definitely showed improvement, that's for sure. I was amazed. Aw, oh, heck, Slyus, I'm not half, as, half so amazing as you. Me? What did I do? You convinced me that I have potential. After the tongue lashing you gave me, I felt like taking another try. The whole reason I'm doing this good is so oh, I can live up to your expectations. So, thanks, Elias. Nothing is impossible if you try. I know that from experience. What do you mean? I've never considered myself particularly talented. I come from a noble family, but that doesn't mean much when it comes to combat. 
I don't know, for a farm girl like me, it's pretty dang impressive. It's not, trust me. I only made it as a knight because I never gave up. Oh. You know, I bet I could get to be whatever I wanted with your help. I hope you'll keep on coaching me. Certainly. You think I abandoned a people as promising as you? Oh, that reminds me. I was meaning to fix you a home-cooked meal as thanks. Home-cooked meal, huh? Don't give me those shifty eyes. It might not be what a city boy's used to, but you'll like it, I guarantee. After all, nothing's impossible if I try. That's the spirit. That's a damn spirit. I appreciate that. Good confidence. Ryoma and Elise. Rank A. Here we go. Good. Now slip that end into the loop there. Like this? No, no, no. Not that end. The other one. Like this. Oh, I see. I'm not very experienced with handling delicate things. Like this? Yeah, you did it. It took a while, a little while, but you did it. You made your first daisy crown, and it's pretty. You did a good job. And you fuckers thought this was gonna be nonchalant, like fucking... You get him, I mean? Oh man, they fucking got you. They got you guys good. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking thought. You thought the french fry was going in the donut hole. You really thought there, did ya? <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Now, to present this crown of flowers to Her Highness Princess Elise of Nor. My princess, I hope you'll accept my most humble gift of woven daisies. <laughs> Thanks. I will accept your garlands with pleasure. Very good, milady. Is something the matter? It's just strange. How at peace I feel right now, though we are in the middle of a war. And you're even making daisy crowns with a princess from an enemy kingdom. Precisely. It seems to me a miracle. To think, if this war never had never happened, we might never have be become friends. It's strange, isn't it? We might still be fighting each other. Maybe even killing each other. It's changed the way I think about things. Hoshidans, Norians. Perhaps we're not so different after all. Perhaps lasting peace truly is attainable. I feel the same way. I'm glad to hear it. I may need your help to convince everyone of this someday. I'll do whatever I can. Mm-hmm. And that's a fucking spirit. Okay. Oh, boy. There's a lot more. Oh, Kaden and Charlotte, I can finish it off here. Oh, that's a spirit. Here we go. S rank, here we go. Oh, hello there, Kaden. Mmm, you're looking a little sad today. Is it showing? I never thought I'd be so caught up in worrying as I am now. What could possibly worry someone as confident as you? Do you want to talk about it? You're actually interested? I can't tell if you really are or not. Of course I am. Now tell me, is this issue really serious as you're making it seem? Of course it is. And you're even involved. I felt a bit off for the last few days, and I finally realized why. It's because I've been worrying about confessing that I started to like you. What? It's not just like that. I think I've fallen in love with you, and I don't even know how to say it. Also, I'm... I know I'm good-looking, but I don't think I could make you happy with just that. I see. And then I was thinking about what would happen if I, after I admitted how I felt. If you turned out you'd actually hated me. That would hurt so much, you know? If I messed up telling you how I felt. Well, you could end up hating me, even if you didn't before. So that's what I'm worried about. Does that make sense to you? Yes, I understand completely, but... What do you think I should do? You're worrying about confessing, right? You can probably stop worrying now. What? Why? You just confessed your feelings to me. I... Ah! 
I, I misspoke. Or you misunderstand. Both. Caden, you don't need to worry. I mean, I do like you after all. What, really? Does that mean we can be together? Of course. That's the whole point of this conversation. <laughs> that makes me really happy. Now I need to repay you for making me this happy. You don't have to, Caden. You made me equally happy as it is. Ah, uh, Caden. He has to repay. He has to repay his debt. And with that, another paralogue is now in the works. Alright, more character supports in the next video. Alright, peace guys. Remember, stay crispy.